Hey, man, what's the difference between a stem and a track out? I mean, is this the Kanye West track out player? Nah, let's talk about it. And let's talk about how you can properly export your session as track outs from Logic Pro X. What's up, engineers? I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com, and this channel was all about helping you to record and mix better and faster, man. Today, I'm gonna be addressing a issue that I've found running rampant in our community, okay? Um, and that's the fact that a lot of us are interchanging terms when it comes to track outs and stems, right? Yeah, I say, you want me to send you the stems when I really want you to send me the track outs, right? And then you end up sending me the stems, but they really end up being track outs, or I ask you for track outs and now you're sending me stems, okay? Now, what's the difference, right? We can learn from Kanye West what's the difference between a stem and a track out. Kanye teaches us this, right? Kanye says, this is a stem player. And he's absolutely right. This is a stem player to where he has four different faders, right? These got little touch faders on here. And each one of these faders will affect a group of instruments. So a stem is technically a grouping of instruments within your mix so for example you could have a drums stem to where all the drums are in there to the kick the snare the hi-hat the congas right you could have a musical stem to where all of your synthesizers keyboards pianos all are on a stereo track you could have a vocal stem to where every vocal in that session is bounced or mixed down to a stereo track have any other type of stems that you want to but again a stem is the grouping of tracks not just the individual tracks now when we talk about track outs track outs are the individual tracks so that means one track for the kick one track for the 808 one track for the snare hi hat the for the first guitar the second guitar the lead vocal the background vocal the first right you got tracks for every individual element in your whole mix now if kanye west had created the track out player it'd be way bigger than this, okay? Way bigger, okay? So that's the difference between stems and track outs. The stems are a grouping of tracks. Track outs are actually the individual elements of the tracks all tracked out. Now, if you're sending your song to be mixed, like you recorded it in Logic, and now you want Wavy Wayne to mix it, I need you to not send me stems. I don't want your mixed down stereo drum file. I don't want your all vocals in one file. I want the track outs. Let's go over to Logic Pro X and take a look at how we can easily export the track outs, okay? So again, Logic makes it super, super easy, man, uh, to export the track outs. All you really gotta do in Logic to do this, right? But it is, is one little thing, but I do wanna remind y'all that when you are exporting the track outs like this, none of your processing is gonna be included. So not the auto-tune, not the EQ, none of the processing on the tracks will be included. You would need to bounce them down and use a complete separate uh, operation to do this. But we're not, when I want you to, if you're sitting off to mix or, or collaborate with somebody, you don't necessarily need to have all of these effects printed down. Matter of fact, I prefer if you didn't, if you're sending it to me, don't have none of this stuff on there unless it is actual, absolutely critical to the sound and uh, there's no way that I can reproduce that, right? Now, to export your track outs in Logic, again, it is simple. You just go straight up to the file menu. You go down to export and you hit export all tracks as audio files. So when you do that, you hit export all tracks as audio files. So I'm gonna go over to my desktop. I'm gonna make a new folder. I'm gonna say, um, these are my track outs. I hit okay. Custom audio, um, export audio, PT. We're gonna call this um, a wavy song. You choose all of the different formats that you want, right? Whether you want it to be saved as a wave or AIFF. If you want the bit depth to change, you can do that here as well. You can choose to normalize if you want to. Don't do that neither. Oh, none of you sending it to me. Don't do that. And then we just simply gonna hit export. And you see Logic is gonna go not just through that one part, but they're gonna go all the way through and export through to the end of the session, to the end of the very last clip and create audio files. Once this is done, we'll go and look at the audio files folder for 
that that I mean that folder that we just actually created is on my desktop. It's called trackouts, and you can see here, right? It's still printing and rendering down, but you see, based off of the track names. So, is it important for you to name your tracks? Absolutely, right? And it's important to name those tracks before you actually start recording. So they actually exporting all the tracks. It ain't going a little bit too far. I should have made a selection, okay? This works better when you have a selection because dang, that thing going far. This is going to make it longer than I want to, okay? So it went all the way to the end of my session. Ultimately, what you really want to do though, next time that I, that I do this, if you want to do it right, I would do it like this. Make sure that you got a loop. Make sure you got some type of selection of the range. And then when you go to export, um, export as all tracks as audio files, then it will export, right? But either way, it still did the same thing. It just got a little bit of extra ass on there than we needed, all right? But we got these files. Cool. And so now that I have my track outs exported, I could send this folder of files to anybody that I want. Maybe they're gonna mix or add something to the production, whatever, but I don't have to worry about what DAW or what program they're using. Maybe they're using FL Studio. Maybe they're using Pro Tools. Maybe they're using Studio One. It's all good. We have these audio files that will work in any session that we wanna load them up in. Yo, there's a huge disconnect from reality when you spend all your time learning information only online from watching YouTube videos. You don't really learn the step-by-step -step process. You don't learn the why. You only learn what I'm here to give you on a video by video basis or you know, as you going around, you scavenging, you grabbing all this different information from different corners of the world. If you had a precise plan of action that was created to take you from where you are to where you need to be as a mix engineer, would you follow that plan? If you had a community that was there to encourage you, build you up, teach you and help you learn and earn more, would you join that community? Text me right now, 314-400-2880 to join the Wavy Seals Elite so you can stop guessing and start being your best, start being the best mixing engineer, start being the best recording engineer that you can be. I'm here to be your guide. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. I'll catch y'all later. Be dope.